I'd have to say two. Uh, of course, CBGBs. And I guess probably everybody says that. But it really was a great room. It just, there was something magical about that room. It's, I mean, it's something, you know, unless you've played there and you've seen so many shows there, the vibe there, it's just, you can't, it's something, if you haven't experienced it, you'll never, you'll never know, you know. Uh, and believe it or not, I mean, because it helped me, you know, when I was younger going to shows, it was Castle Heights in Queens. I had a lot of fun there. Castle fights. Castle fights. <laughs> I mean, we had a great time there. It was, it was a crazy house. It was just nuts. It was a lot of fun. Rat bones. He's a maniac. I mean, you know. I mean, I've seen this guy dive off of balconies. It has to go back to the first show that I've seen which was Murphy's Law. And I, I'll never forget, you know, my friend bringing me to the show and like, he played me some of the music and I was like, yeah, you know, I like some of her, Agnostic Front, Underdog, Youth of Today. And I was like, ah, yeah, it's cool, you know? But then like, he's like, come see Murphy's Law with me. He's like, he's like, he goes, if this doesn't sell you, then, you know, I get it. You know? And I just, I never forget standing in the back at one point just being like, this is what I want to do. And for that moment on, it's been hardcore. <laughs> well, I mean, I obviously, you know, I didn't get into it a little bit later. I mean, you know, I'm not as old as these guys or, you know, you know, um, second or third generation hardcore or whatever. I would like to see Minor Threat. That's one band I would like to see. I mean, John Ann Twistle, uh, Holly Flanagan, Craig Satari, uh, Giza Butler. You hungry, you eat, you tired, you sleep. Yes, manipulate, all from casuals, uh, and backtrack. Yeah, I mean they're not new, but they're a younger band. You know, hardworking band that I give it to because they just got in the van and went and did it. Not just like you know other bands like crying. Oh, nobody gets us on bills. Blah blah blah. Those guys just went out and just did it, and I, I respect that because that's the only way to do it. You'd be crazy not to say "gotta go" just because the, the response is just so insane. It's such a it's just such a simple song. It's like it's like one of those songs that like everybody wishes they wrote. You know what I mean? It's just like so simple and just like so good. It's just total punk rock, oi, hardcore, like all wrapped up in one. You know, it's it's such an anthem. It's just it's great. Uh, society sucker. The United and Strong. Honestly, like, I would have to say, not to sound like corny or, or cheesy or anything, but just like, follow your dreams. You know, I mean, I know, I know as hard as it is to, um, you have to, to live in this world and life is expensive. I know you got to pay bills, but you know, like, try your hardest to pursue doing what you love because if you, if you find a way to do and make money off of like what you love, like then it's not like work, you know? It's just like I never feel like I'm work. I, I have two jobs, I'm a barber and a musician in my life and, and now I'm, um, I'm Mr. Mom. And, uh, and I love all three things that I do, you know? And it's just like you, you gotta find passion and, and, and try your hardest to do in life what you love. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be you know, I mean, like, why bother living, you know? If you can't wake up every morning and hate your job and hate your life, it's like, it sucks. Hardcore is not dead. Uh, you know what? Hardcore will never die. I mean, you know what? It's like funny. You get people from, like, the older generation saying, Hardcore died in 84, or Hardcore died. 
it's just like, no, like maybe you died, or like you know what you, the, the the love for it, or the love that you used to have for it died for some reason, and that's great, you know what I mean. But that doesn't mean it's dead. Like who are you to say hardcore is dead? Hardcore is thriving more than ever. I mean, you go all over the world, and we travel all over the world, and like especially in Europe. I mean, just like South America. I mean, Asia. I mean. And the, the music is way too, just, just the hardcore show alone in general is just so damn energetic that there's no way that, um, there's no way that it can't keep catching on to a younger generation, you know? And maybe a little smaller at times, maybe a little bigger at times. But I don't think it's something that's, that'll ever die. That, you know, I mean, I always think, I think it's made its staple in, in music.